Hello, and thank you for joining us on this channel called NAVS. NAVS stands for Narcissistic Abuse uh, Victims and Survivors. My name is Slavika Bogdanov. I started this channel to help people uh, bring more awareness, education, tools to get out or to get back on your feet, to heal, and also to know if you are or not in a narcissistic abusive relationship. I launched a Facebook group. You'll find the link below this video. Join us. We are supporting each other, healing together, and hopefully thriving. And also, I launched a website called NarcissisticAbuseVictims.com. Please visit it. You'll see that we're raising funds and part of those funds go into education. I want to have a fund to help uh, victims get back on their feet, learn and have tools so that they can uh, thrive, have their own maybe mini business or big business, you never know. And also um, I wanna create a fund that will uh, give or lend money to victims so that they can escape because often the, um, abuser uh, holds the wallet, holds the money. So we will be talking a lot about money today, uh, especially how to make money and how to start your own online e-commerce business. I personally think is one of the best ways to either secretly start making money or at least get back on your feet if you have escaped or you're out now of the uh, relationship and want to know how can I start my online business? What can I do? And I brought here today, and in my opinion, an expert in that field who has an amazing company called LaunchCart. So hi, Greg, and thank you so much for being here today with us. Oh, thank you so much. And, and uh, thank you for what you're doing out there. It's, it's so needed to give everyone the support and just to help them with their mindset and the thought process and help them get some help because... Um, I'm totally supportive of what you're doing as we were just talking about. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. So I'm glad that we have this conversation because, you know, when you go on these uh, channels where they talk about, you know, narcissistic abuse, there's not much said of how to actually make money and how to get out of your you know, rut and how to start a business and get back on your feet. So I'm super thrilled to have you here because, I believe you can really offer amazing tools and some, you know, basic knowledge for uh, people who want to start an online business. Whether you're into or not an abusive relationship, you can thrive online with an e-commerce business. So tell us a little more about LaunchCart and uh, what's so great about it. Well, the vision with LaunchCart really was to lower the barrier of entry for entrepreneurs, small business owners, uh, influencers, YouTubers, TikTokers, Instagrammers, where they can get and start an e-commerce business with no money up front and no monthly fees, but yet then offer them hundreds and hundreds and, and soon to be thousands of products that they can sell from their e-commerce store without having to invest in inventory or what the term is MOQ, minimum order quantities. And they can get paid, um, basically you're buying wholesale, selling retail, but you only have to pay for the goods after you sell them. So literally it's like being able to start and set up your own business online without having any upfront costs whatsoever. So it really does lower the barrier of entry. Then in, in combination with that, we're, we're, we're officially launching February 2nd, even though we've been up for over a year, we've had over 30,000 people sign up on our platform but we have all the features and functionality to where we're literally a viable alternative to Shopify, which is one of the biggest platforms in the world out there. And I'm so happy because we hired two full-time, you know, million dollar a year sellers to train our customers on how to properly set up your e-commerce store, how to find the right products you're gonna sell, how to know they're gonna sell, how to market them on Pinterest and Instagram, you know, just basically your guerrilla marketing. And so you can generate income and change your life. And in some situations, we think we're going to change whole communities. That's amazing. I'm so excited. So tell me more. Like, let's say I don't know anything with e-commerce. I'm like a newbie, never had a store, don't know what I'm going to sell. I just find that it's an alternative that I want to start. And because, you know, no entry fee, no monthly fee, wow, you know, I want to do that. 
I'm in a desperate situation where I need to start making money and I want to, you know, I see all these people selling stuff online. So what would be like the process, uh, you know, so at least I would get started like today. So, so I think when, I, when we have that conversation, we would start with, it's best if you could find something you're passionate about that you love. And I'll give you an example, and then you can take it within your own particular thought process. I'm a hang glider pilot, and I've been hang gliding for years. And actually, I'm, I'm 59. I've been hang gliding since I was 15 years old. So I love hang gliding. And with our platform, one of the coolest things you can do is you can start t-shirt line, a coffee mug line, a leggings line, a hat line. So on all this, kind of, everybody wears t-shirts, everybody wears hats, you know, everywhere wear baby bibs. So there's just hundreds of products you can choose from that everybody's buying on a daily basis. And, but they can't necessarily go to Walmart and get a really cool hang gliding t-shirt or a really cool hang gliding hat. So I could go set up a store, you know, uh, you know, hang gliding, you know, merch.com or something like that. And I can go into our platform, sign up for free. And then I can, you know, either get some designs myself or maybe get some photographs from Shutterstock or some of these free uh, pick share showing, you know, sharing sites. And I can start to create some t-shirts and some hats and some hoodies and, you know, whatever that is with a few clicks of the button. And, and I know I don't want to scare people away, but I literally got a testimony yesterday from a lady who goes, I've installed hundreds of programs. I've tried hundreds of software. Yours is the easiest I've used by far than any other platform I've ever seen. I'm blown away. Literally anybody can do this. And we have little step-by-step -step video guides if you need them as well. But I think that's a good idea, right? You take a niche, right? Yeah. And whether that's... Uh, you know, it could be anything. It could be golf. It could be softball. It could be, you know, cats. We just built a website for a lady. She breeds ragdoll cats. And in order to supplement her income on breeding of the cats, she now has ragdoll t-shirts and rag, ragdoll, you know, hip packs and all kinds of products and merchandise that she can sell and only has to pay for it after she sells it. She's buying a wholesale, selling at retail. So I think that's the process I would take somebody down is, you know, think about a niche, think about something you want to do uh, that's, that's, that's meaningful to you that you can get excited about doing it and then get involved with a community like ours. Because not only do we have the software and the platform, and the training, but we have our own Facebook community. So if you get stuck and you go, I don't know where to get, where to get designs for ragdoll kittens. We're going to point you in the right direction to where you might get them for a dollar. You might get them for five dollars. You might have to go get somebody to create them for you for five or ten dollars. But we're going to show you how to get all the designs, all the graphics, everything you need to build and launch your store at the most affordable, you know, price there is. Does that make sense? That's amazing. That's super amazing. Because, yes, you know, like what I see is uh, a lot of, uh, of people. You know, they go, well, you know, I'd like to raise, you know, 500, 1,000 or 2,000 dollars to get out of my hell, you know, to start living again, being able to pay an apartment or whatever. And, you know, like you said, it might be, you know, cars, it might be kittens, it might be I love my baby t-shirt or whatever it is. So, uh, and it would be better than trying to raise funds, you know, with a fun, fun the uh, site to sell something to friends, family, and uh, and people around, and then uh, create who knows even create a brand and then go even bigger after that. So and it's Nike. It's Nike was started as a, you know, every brand was started as a small company, right? Nike was started as a small company with an idea, right? So it all starts somewhere. Oh, let that's me, amazing. Let me show so a couple like other that. ideas that kind of that kind of come up off that that concept. Now, let's say you don't necessarily have something you can come up with, but you say, "I need to make some money. I need to make some money fast." So that ragdoll kitten lady, my daughter met her in a networking event, and she paid my daughter, who's twenty seven years old, single mom. It doesn't have daycare for the baby, has to work around the, the, the two-year-old baby schedule. And she charged her $1,000 to build that site because she got wow. real familiar and good with our platform. She was able to build that site in about 10 hours. Wow. So that's $100 an hour. So now my daughter, she basically does that um, about four times a month. So she's making about 4,000 a month working about 10 hours a week. And she gets to work around her baby and her baby schedule. Anybody can do that, right? And we're going to show you how to do that if you want to uh, get involved. We want to show you how to do that. Then another good idea would be churches. You could have, I call it church merch, you know, because people like to wear their faith, you know, 
blessed be, you know, all the blessed sayings, all the cool sayings, all that kind of stuff. Churches would be good. But, you know, the problem with churches is they don't have anyone to manage the store. So now you can say to the church, not only will I build you the store, but give me 10% of the revenues and I'll manage the store. And you could do that for a pizza store. You could do that for a wine restaurant. You could do that for a, a, a weightlifting or a, or, or a gym. It's endless because everybody wants to get online. Everybody wants to have an e-commerce store and they want to have an e-commerce presence, but not everybody has the time to build it and not everyone has the time to manage it. So there's a number of different ways where we could help people get into a situation with e-commerce to make money and, and have the finances to do what they need to do. Yes, I totally agree with you because then they could go on to uh, little communities and just, you know, kn knock on doors and just go door to door and say, have you thought of having an e-commerce with your brand? I can do that for you for a thousand bucks and 10% to manage the store. And there you go. Like, like your daughter it easily make four or $5,000 a month. That's more than enough to to, to have a, a support for your life. So I love that idea. I know also at some point you, you touched on, uh, on Cinderella products and I'm curious to know uh, what's up with that. Like, can we, can we make uh, now products with the, with the Cinderella little? Uh... Yeah, well, to fill, to fill that in a little bit, we acquired the worldwide exclusive rights to build products, t-shirts, hats, flip-flops, phone cases, all kind of, you know, just thousands of different products with the, the, the line of iconic fairy tale characters that include Cinderella, Snow White, Sleeping Beauty, Peter Pan, and Tinkerbell, and Little Red Riding Hood, and Wizard of Oz, and just this amazing collection of, you know, iconic fairy tale characters, which, you know, those you know are going to sell, right? You know you can sell those um, out there. And so what we're doing is we're taking this, this license that we have and all the graphics and the imagery, and then we're building it on products, t-shirts, hats, babies, onesies, all that kind of stuff. And then we're putting in what we call the source and sell marketplace, which is where you get these products you can sell without any money up front. And then you can create your store and you'll be able to click a button. We're not quite done with it yet, but in about 30 days, we'll have everything tested, launched, and ready to go. You'll be able to click a button, go, I want to sell that Tinkerbell, you know, coffee mug. I want to sell that, that Cinderella, you know, t-shirt. I want to sell that Cinderella, you know, backpack. And you'll be able to click a button. It'll be for sale in your store. You then go on Pinterest or Instagram or however you drive some traffic to your store. And when somebody buys it, you make that profit. That's really awesome. And I, I can see that easily, like on the farmer's market, you put a few shirts or you just uh, distribute cards uh, for baby showers or whatever. I can print on demand, whatever you need, uh, how many you need for your baby shower or for your... Well, I'll give you, I'll give you one. You just, you, you just triggered a memory. So the other day we sold 20 t-shirts, 20 little eBooks, 20 little blankets. Cause we had these little blankets and it was for somebody who was having a birthday party and the birthday party was bell, you know, from, from uh, uh, beauty and the beast. It was oh, a bell. Wow. It was a bell themed birthday party. So every kid that came to the birthday party got a shirt, got a little ebook, or, or actually it was a little printed coloring book, and then got a, a beach towel that all had Bell and the graphics on it. And that, that was a nice order, oh, right? that's and, nice. And I thought to myself, I wasn't marketing that. It just happened and talked to somebody and like, yeah, we could do that. Yeah, we could. And it was awesome. I thought there's a whole business around just setting up a website that says, you know, birthday packages for your five-year-old, six-year-old, seven-year-old. You know, you want Cinderella, Tinkerbell, Princess, what do you want? And we could just cook to their pet. And then now that the average order value is in the thousands. She spent like, I want to say $1,200 or something like that. It was, it was a big item, big ticket. But that's people amazing. are out there doing it yeah, all the time. And, and that's an easy sell because those figures are already uh, known. Those are already branded yeah. and already famous. So that's an easy sell. So that's amazing. So what would you give an advice to someone who is now in a situation, in a difficult situation at home or, you know, just got out and um, they want to make, you know, a quick buck? You would say jump on, well, on launch cart and start like yesterday, right? Yeah, and I, I would, launch cart's a great platform for that. And then selling the service of, of, like, and again, you know this term, affiliate marketing. Like, you, you think about the fastest way to cash 
And then what's what's the fastest way to sustainable income? And what's the what, what's another way to build a brand or a business that I could either generate cash flow or sell, right? So there's this transition. But if you said, no, I need to make some money tomorrow. Like you can go sign up for Launch Cart today. You can become an affiliate tomorrow. You find somebody who wants to have a store built. You call me up and contact us. We'll build the store for you and pay you a 20% commission. So if somebody pays $1,000, we'll do all the work and you make $200 for making the introduction to us. And you do that four or five times, you just made a quick $1,000. And believe me, there's thousands of people that want e-commerce stores built. It, it's not hard to find people that want them. And then I think from there, then you get your own store going and you learn how to do it yourself. So then when you sell the store, you can build the store and keep all the money. And then concurrently, you start building your own brand, whether that's the ragdoll you know, kids or the hang gliding store or whatever. And you start building up your own brand. Um, so I've got a store that I'm, that I'm launching and I'm going to build it up over the next three or four years called Inspiration by God, because I'm a faith-based person and I want to have a faith-based store and I want to market faith-based products. And I, and I really believe that if I work on it consistently for three or four years, it'll be worth a million dollars three or four years from now. Now, it's not going to be worth a million dollars overnight, but if I put energy and time into it, three or four years from now, I'm going to have a nice little business and it's going to be like making nice little cash flow. And another one I'm doing that my wife and I came up with is we found a coffee company that has been making coffee for 150 years with their family and they willing to private label and white label coffee. So I said, Hey, I want to start a coffee company. So we're like, wow. what would be a great coffee company? And I, and I also am a big supporter of rescue dogs and, and, you know, and, and dog rescues and, and that kind of stuff. So we came up with this really cool name called rescue Joe. Right with hey, what you know, drink a cup, uh, yeah, of Joe. cup of Joe. So we have rescue Joe, and then our tagline is drink a cup, save a pup. Right? I love it. And now we're creating t-shirts for chihuahuas and German shepherds and all these kind of cool dogs. But then we also have our drink a cup or our rescue Joe coffee. And they buy it from me for $14 a bag. I buy it for $7.50 or $8 a bag, and I make the profit. I'm gonna donate 10% to, to a, a dog rescue each month. So these are the kind of things that you can do. And, you know, I could go to anybody. And again, nonprofits are another one. You know, I know, you know, we work with Fran Drescher and Fran is a cancer survivor. She has cancer smancher and we set up a site for her and she uses her fame to drive traffic and sales. And we manage it. We take 10% of the revenues for managing the store. And there's not a nonprofit out there that wouldn't want to do that because all nonprofits yes. want to make more well, money. Well, actually, uh, you know, I was going to uh, to reach out to you about my narcissistic abuse uh, yeah. foundation that I want also to have a store online for merchandise. Yeah. So I'm getting to that. And yes, because you're right. Everybody, like everybody wears T-shirts, hats. That's obvious. So, you know, obviously we... And then everybody likes to wear what they think and what they believe in. Right. So it's easy to sell uh, things that people believe in or support. I love your rescue dog uh, mission and T-shirt. And yes, it, it, there are so many opportunities and so many out ideas out there that I think what you said is right on point. Find what you're passionate about first. And the opportunities are, there's more than enough opportunity out there to not only survive, but thrive in the e-commerce space. And this, this is obviously what we're teaching to our community and to our customers, because with a freemium model, meaning we give you our platform for free, and then we take a 3% transaction fee uh, until you get to where you want to move up to a payment plan. Our success depends on our client success. So we want to teach you the best strategies, the best tactics. We want to create a support group for you. We want to, we want to empower you to get there. And the one thing I love about you, and you're amazing about this, is you know, it all starts with the mindset. It all starts with belief. It all starts with getting help from somebody. First, I, hey, I need help. I want help. And then listening to somebody like you who's a mentor, who's accomplished amazing things and done joint ventures and partnerships and things with amazing people. And you just like are that you just, you just exude um, you know, that that attitude of I can achieve anything and I'm never going to give up mindset. And I think that's where it also starts too. So I think people hanging around and that's when I think attracted you and I together. It's like, I have that same mindset. It's like, I, I believe, man, I, and I want to give hope to people and we want to change the world. So I really commend you for what you're doing. And just people need to keep listening to you and find other people that they resonate with that can help coach them, mentor them and help them, um, uh, 
fail faster, right? I saw this thing the other day that says, yeah, get rid of the failure, just <laughs> fail so you can get back up on your feet as fast as you can. Yeah, if somebody said, I can't remember who it was, but they said, no one succeeds more than they fail. And I'm like, wow, what a great saying. It's like, you know, that's a mindset going, if I, if I get to where I'm okay with failing, right? I failed at this, I failed at that. You know, and we all do it. Everyone thinks, oh, it's just me. My, I failed. That. You know, it's, no, everybody, we all do it, right? So I think if you just can get over that fear of failure, then you can work towards the little baby steps. Then you get the mentorship and, and success is not, you know, whatever success means to you, it's not hard. It's just, it's just a process. Yes, and I agree with you. And I think it's also, as you said, is hanging out with the right people, Yep. And being open to ask for help without fearing that it is, um, you know, a show of weakness. But on the contrary, it is a show of strength. Being able to reach out and say, hey, I can't do that. Can you help me do that? Is a show of strength. Yep. And so I, I agree. And to be, you know, I, I created this narcissistic abuse uh, 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 non nonprofit and everything I'm doing because I I come out of that, and it was a long journey for me to you know to come out of the darkness if you if you want and and get back on my feet and and I've I did fail a lot um, so much so that now I say I'm so good at it that I can get back up before my face hits the ground. So that's how good I <laughs> that's be awesome. now at falling. That's awesome. I fall fast, but I get up faster. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. So thanks so much because I am really hoping that this will inspire and empower people to know that the tool is right there. It's free. You know, it's a click away. Like there's no excuse. You know, everything's done for you guys to succeed, to be successful. And I've, like, I, I hosted at some point a, a clubhouse uh, room, and there was this woman who was, you know, uh, a survivor who said she opened one of those stores, not on launch card, but I, I don't remember what kind, but it was kind of a drop shipping wholesaler kind of thing. And she was, like, rolling in millions, literally. And she said, you know, the amount of money you can make in these stores is just, you can't even imagine how much you make because you don't have to hold any inventory. You don't have to put money up front. You don't have that much risk. It's all in just talking to other people. And thank God we're in a country where we're 300 million people. You know, yeah. I think that you have enough People. Well, the, the, the world is our mall, even the world, right? The world is our mall. And just to kind of add on to what you said, I won't tell what his design was about out of courtesy to, to a friend of mine, but he, he does what I call chasing trends, right? So whatever's kind of going on in the news cycle. And, 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 and obviously one of them was, you know, uh, that go Biden. What was it? Uh, that whole, that whole thing about Biden, uh, uh, or go brand let's go brandon remember that let's go brandon guys sold hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of let's go brandon i know a guy that did he, he still does um 20 30 40 thousand dollars a month of sales of let's go brandon wrapping paper t-shirts hats <laughs> all kinds of stuff and another one of my friends had a, a design and he sold six hundred thousand dollars worth this design in three months and made two hundred thousand dollars in profits and he didn't know any, it just, it just went viral. People loved it. And it's, it just happens, right? Some, you know, that, you know, sometimes it just happens. Uh, and I used to have a business where we would call, we called it chasing trends. And, you know, um, there's just always something in the news. There's always something going on where if you want to, and you're good, to, maybe there's a graphic designer out there and they can create designs on their own. You can throw on some shirts, get out there, social media. And if it takes off, you know, because you don't have to maintain any inventory and they'll print and ship as much as you want. You, you never risk, right? It's awesome. It's an awesome, awesome, awesome model. Yes, I do agree. And nowadays with social media and the openness of being able to reach so many people through so many different platforms, it, the market is just open to everyone in the world. So you're absolutely right. We don't have to think of our next door neighbor the next door neighbor might be in china or or in japan or in austria or whatever it's just having just following step by step and doing 
you know, your part every day. There's nothing like desperation, right? To, to pursue something and to put all your efforts in and to have something successful. So sometimes well, uh, being desperate is the best thing that can well, happen to I agree with that. And, and one thing that kind of makes me, I feel led to say is that you first, you have to have some hope, right? So we, I hope we're giving you hope, right? Then you get a little bit of mentorship. And then as you start to make those steps and you accomplish something, the, the nice thing about e-commerce is, is, is it's, there's a, there's a, it's, it's a digital thing, but it's also tangible. Like you can go to rescuejoe.com and you can see the website we built. And so those little steps you make and you get your store built and you go, oh, that doesn't look very good. And then you, you, you add this product in, you change this color, you put your logo, it's like, oh, it's starting to look good. And then you put in your navigation bar, you know, men's, women's, kids, clothes. And it's like, oh, it's starting to look like a store. And then you add some products, you go, the feeling you get of self-gratification by just, you know, making those little steps and building something is part of what you need to get out of the depression, the pain, and that other thing that people feel when they, when they have problems in their life, right? So th that's, those little steps are going to help people too, just, just a little gratification of accomplishment. You're right. You're absolutely right. They say that if you want to get out of depression, you create mini goals, step-by-step -step mini goals. And yes, building a story is like that. It's mini goals. Oh, just do this. One more thing, one more thing, and you scratch it off your list and suddenly your confidence builds up. Oh, I did something today, actually. And then you make your first sale and, you know, you jump, you run around the apartment running, jumping for joy that, hey, actually someone actually paid me for this. So, uh, so yes, yeah, so I, I'm so happy. Uh, and I, I am too hoping that this brings hope to people and actionable tools that they can put in immediately in action, that it gives you enough hope to jumpstart your business today. Amen so that. thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Greg. Thank you so much. I'm very appreciative of you as a person, of what you're doing, and of LaunchCard, of course. And uh, I hope, I hope many, many people join and, uh, and even become affiliates and bring even more people so that we can as you say, in power communities and people all around the world. Yeah, I, well, I thank you very much. And I always like to end saying, do what I do, wake up every day with an attitude of gratitude, tell somebody you love them, and I promise you'll have a better day. Oh, I love that. Well, thank you so much, Greg. Thank you. Have a thank great you. day. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye.